Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and we're back to the Saving Your Disaster campaign at Event Lockdown. It is episode number five. I promised you guys that I would do the ambush um, off screen, which I did. So we successfully did, um, or I successfully did that. We got a promotion. We now have officially two colonels. The white Jack Stewart is our Colonel Sharpshooter, <clears throat> and I put him on another covert ops mission, which was, <coughs> excuse me, literally the first thing that I've done, because we can now recruit another faction soldier. That Templar would come in at Colonel rank as well. Bingo. Very nice. Uh, that would be our third Colonel. So we're eventually getting there. Looking at the intel. We gotta get our things together and gotta get to 80 intel. Loyalty amongst thieves is uh, not so bad. It just gives um, him a bit more intel, but that's okay. I'm a bit worried about the Avatar project overall, so gotta take care of that soon. But before we do that, let's take a look. Got a hidden event here for supplies. Got a scientist here. That's a nasty dark event uh, with chrysalids on every single mission. And we got a ranger, Colonel Ranger. That is awesome. Super good. I love rangers and Colonel Ranger certainly can make a difference. Uh, what do we need to do? Destroy an alien relay? Uh, hell yeah. Oh no, not a problem. It's going to be very difficult, but I would want to fill his roster as fast as possible. Because the faster we have ro that roster filled, the faster this whole run is back on track. We're going to go in with a standard team, I would say. The four core classes plus Fatal and Haunt. Let's just make sure that we got everything so... We got the DLC weapons, yes, 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 and yes. I think it's good enough to use the Venom rounds here, and we're going to use some blue screen rounds on him. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> we're still lacking equipment. But yeah, what can you do when you're broke and have no other option? You might as well take whatever you can get. We, by the way, do have upgraded laser rifles and laser shotguns now, so at least from the damage department, we should be doing much better. Let's see how I'm doing. Good. Operations Dead Man's Mask uh, is a relay destruction. Seven turns. <coughs> oh, and we got a nice little shopping hall um, fight coming up. I like that map. Can either go through the subway uh, station slash shopping mall or we're going to take a different approach. I think we're taking the subway station just because I like the terrain a lot. And we got ourselves the first enemy pack. Thankfully. We can move in and take a pretty solid look around. I go as ordered. Moving over. Ooh, that doesn't even have a rooftop. I thought it would have a rooftop. My mistake. Yeah, we could we could uh, put ourselves up there next turn without a problem. Elizabeth definitely takes the frontline position here. And how about we're putting the gunner a, f a bit further back. So lots of overwatches. Got to move fast. Seven turns will uh, run down faster than you might think. Six more turns to go. And yeah, I know the... The first pack. That's not a hundred percent killing them. Uh, 
but that would uh, kill them for sure. Starting with a sniper, I still crit. Codex is history. Perfect. Just as I was hoping it would happen, he moved up there. And look at that. We got some nice shots from up here. Extra spicy hit. Moving up. Oh, 16. That was awesome. And we got a hair trigger for free. Plus he's poisoned, which means he's going to die anyways. Might as well overwatch and start going in a tiny bit deeper. Now we don't know what's behind there, so might as well be careful. Just taking a general look. Simple overwatch. Let's just take the kill. Because if he dies by poison, the only disadvantage is He's uh, going to, um, we're, we're not going to get any kill experience. Essentially everyone else gets assist experience, but the poison has killed it, not the weapon which dealt the poison. So just something to consider if you're trying to maximize your experience for your troops. That's a minor, minor tweak that you can do if the situation allows it, of course. <coughs> So what do we have over here? I think we got a pretty easy decision to keep the momentum, hit the Mac. With that, the Mac is running towards us and doesn't just stop there, uh, which it is often doing. Uh, to be fair, it's just trying to Overwatch instead. Nice little hit. Could move over here. I'm not 100% sure if this would trigger another pack. Don't want to be disrespectful. This here should be moderately safe. And thankfully, th see, that's, that's the difference right here. If you have upgraded weapons, right, you can start to one shot with a plasma uh, shotgun. And that's exactly what was missing in the previous missions. We were just not having the damage output to be competitive. That has luckily changed. Keeping another overwatch, just want to make sure I could have moved here or here, but the last movement should never be one where you are wondering, am I going to trigger something? Uh, clean X complay means you kind of know how far you can take it and minimize the risk of accidentally triggering a, a pack, just like that one, for instance. All right, no remote start whatsoever. We know there is a pack just down there. Heading there now. See, and that's the overwatch that I was talking about earlier, right?
Good. We need to get rid of the Overwatch there. And I also don't want to trigger the other pack, which is why we're closing the door. Because what goes on behind closed doors is a completely different story. Sixty <coughs> percent. I think good enough for now. We do have an advanced stock, so even if we wouldn't have hit uh, the, we would have at least uh, taken the Overwatch away. Let's get closer. One thing in case it's not obvious that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, move as far as possible while still dealing damage. So I'm not sure if, if that makes sense, but essentially what you're uh, what you're hopefully seeing is that I'm trying my very best to move and deal damage at the same time instead of simply yeah, staying uh, somewhere and uh, just dealing damage. So maximum movement, you've seen it uh, with me essentially pulling myself in. Nice, the hair trigger worked. Let's just reload. Trying to move as far as possible. And we're reloading. Mainly because you want to be, if you have a lack of rounds to achieve a target or the rounds are relatively, yeah, relatively tightly calculated you want to be efficient with your action economy it's by the way okay that we trigger it here Let's try to remove as much of the cover as possible. Great, and we're starting with a sniper who unfortunately cannot see anything. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, only moderate hit chances. I do not fully like that. So instead, let's move up. Ninety-six percent, and I'm still missing. That is interesting. So what we could do is hand over an action to our. Shotgun. Apparently we can't see her. <coughs> we could see her over here though. So getting a better position without paying any movement for it. That's unfortunate line of sight issue right here. Still more effective to hand over combat presence because she's simply dealing more damage. OK. 
Okay. First things first, team working to get the maximum out of this turn. And then use the remaining uh, time to hopefully down the Andromedon. Down to one HP. Uh, ouch. We give an aid protocol to Elizabeth because she's going to need it. Gotta be very mindful to destroy the target. because we have no great line of sight. That would overwatch, we do have an auto loader, so we should be fine. Two shots are not going to kill him. So instead we're closing the door, which really puts a lot of pressure on Elizabeth over there. Not the best turn. Not the best turn. A lot of hit points to chew through. And it really feels as if we had limited uh, chances to actually do something. Biggest problem here was also she was missing her uh, shot. Luckily, the Andromedon shell kind of messed it up, which is good for us, bad for them. I was hoping for an execute, but it didn't happen. One hit. Two hits down, thanks to blue screen rounds. That might be a crit. It's a hit, but not a crit. Hair trigger. That's a pretty tight position because theoretically, theoretically, the poison can deal two points of damage. Let's rather be safe than sorry. Even if we would have missed, that would have killed him. Usually don't like standing in the open. <coughs> oh, the Archon has a pretty good angle on us. All right, reloading. Wanted 
to use banish for the sectopod. I'm inclined to use it now. Super dangerous to move here. Only got one turn, so next turn we gotta do it. Overwatch would have been even worse. I think... Gotta start using the Banish. But it won't kill him, so why am I even bothering? He'll be able to flank us. Can't really do much about it. I want to make sure that we're being successful with the mission objective. That's why I'm accepting the damage and make sure that we're succeeding on the mission. And that's what I was fearing might be the case. That the sector port is nearer than we have anticipated. The guy hit himself, by the way, with his blazing pinions. Alright, we gotta deal... We gotta deal with this. If we're moving here... So what's the deal? Sector port sees us, sector port sees us. just be trying to be very creative <clears throat> finding places where we can hit this thing without triggering someone I don't see a way. This here seems, seems to be the only place where we could go and still hit it. But we're in the wide open these guys if the preview screen is wrong or anyone standing here no 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 that's not good over here it's just an invitation for this advanced trooper to move and then basically trigger on us. That's just eight points of damage. Not enough to kill it. We 
We could use it though in order to deal some damage. Let's take care of the timer first. This is really a tough one. And we've played relatively fast, to be honest. Alright. This here should not trigger anyone, to be honest. Okay, apparently they do have perfect vision 2020. Not sure how that came about. All right, well, we do have a problem, Houston. Officially, we got Nice, a little problem right here. Why is he out of actions? He just threw one simple claymore. Okay, well, whatever. He seems to be out of actions. I guess we gotta we gotta take that shot in order to be action efficient let's reload we need the sniper next turn oh I forgot we had an auto loader yeah I can't really hit him and we're going to take some shots over here we're down to two four six eight that's level range we'll try to eight protocol ourselves or we're trying to hack the sector pod sector pod quite frankly is the way bigger concern but i i'm not sure that we are going to be successful yeah it's a 33 percent on a um, shutdown not even taking control, so that's not going to happen. Might as well aid protocol ourselves to be a bad target. Can't believe that I'm saying that. We can try to stun them with an EMP. I don't think that the EMP will trigger the other um, Claymore explosion. Oh, it does. Nice. Wasn't sure about that, to be honest. Could be able to kill the mech. Mech seemed to be shut down. And this guy seemed to be shut down as well, interestingly enough. Yeah, we gotta first of all take care of the mission objective. That's always front and center. That must be the first thing. Good. We got that taken care of. Now, where do we go from here? Let's 
try to eliminate the heavy mech. Good. It's another one killed, taken off the battlefield. We do have Retribution, so that's Bladestorm, which means we can pull him. If we're successful, we're pulling him up. He's going to run away. He's taking a separate hit. It's a lot of ifs and wins, but with that extra hit, we might be able to kill him. Okay, bleeding out. Well, I guess better than immediately dead. And there's the Retribution kill. Okay, cool. Well, at least something worked out. Good, the sector pot is the next biggest hurdle for us. <clears throat> we saved our banish and banish it shall be. Shredded him nicely. Apparently we were missing one shot. Moving over here. I don't want to be in the explosion range of the sector pod. There you go. Hair trigger. Free reload. We're going to give a comet presence over. Always the person with the highest damage per round. And that leaves only the Avatar. Not the Avatar, uh, the Archon. Forty-five percent. It's not gonna be. Beca uh, it's not gonna become much better than that. Trying to not be directly standing in his line of sight. Well, almost killed us. That's a problem of, yeah. Lack of um, armor. But luckily we got out with only wounded soldiers. <sighs> yeah, but if, if you're fighting with, um, with if you're pressed to advance and you're fighting um, double Archon Andromedon, which is one of the strongest packs there is, and then it's trumped by even a stronger pack, the very strongest pack um, in the game on force, rate, uh, force rating 20, which is Sectopod plus um, three advents. There is not that much you can do. At some point, you're going to get shot, and 
Uh, normally, uh, that's the perfect timing where you want to drop your Mimic Beacon. Just let them uh, kind of chew on the Mimic Beacon. Unfortunately, we were not privileged enough to have a Mimic Beacon. So we were just taking it in. And if your rookies slash um, squaddy slash corporals are not hitting and not dealing enough damage, that's a big issue. Lightning Hands, we could have definitely used that in the last mission. Not triggering Overwatch is super helpful. And Demolition is fantastic. Uh, overall, three promotions are not bad. Advanced Hair Trigger. Couple of new corpses. And even more important... We got a cool looking colonel. She almost looks like an undead. Oh, it's Haywired. See, there you go. You get some of uh, the soldiers from my character pool now. Got a nice little blade master for you, uh, going for you. And then we're going into Shadow Step. Then we're definitely going for Run and Gun, just because. We're going Implaceable. We're taking Blade Storm with uh, the extra points, but Implaceable is super good, untouchable just super solid as well and rapid fire just because it is absolutely fantastic that would be my standard skilling for every single ranger and if we're going to the training center and taking a look at Hayward we will see that she definitely deserves blade storm Salvo is not that great uh, on her. I would say that's definitely not so good. She hasn't received the best um, extra abilities, but it's fine. I would argue the 15 points for Reaper are a steal at this point, so she should definitely have that. And we're going to keep the rest because we could use it for other soldiers. Yeah. Super, super, super solid uh, soldier. We're getting the armory filled. Look at that. Got three colonels. Got a Templar colonel on the way. We are recovering, baby. Almost looks like the run is turning out to be successful. Should praise it too early. But yeah, that is good. Gotta get uh, the Templar, then we're almost having a full um, high level SWAT. Certainly the right classes so far. More supplies, that's great. But before we can even go for supplies, we gotta get that intel and gotta stop the Avatar project. Oh, look at you. He got his Void Rift training done. That is good. Solus uh, is perfect. Highly underestimated ability, but essentially makes him immune to many of the mind uh, status effects. So, I personally like it. Good, and there we go, we're finally at the Doom Clock. Let's see, he has 15 hours left. Oh, that's not much. Uh, 15 days left. Got ourselves a Shredder gun. So another heavy experimental weapon would be good. I like this here, but... I want the armor upgrade first, then we can talk about the new uh, the new armors. Ten more days. And let's take a look which of the regions we would actually like to free up. So here we would um, get one dot taken away. Down here we would get two dots taken away and do a storyline mission. Only costs 80 as well. 
up here we would get two and access to another three and access to another three plus rapid collection as a bonus i think we have a winner ladies and gentlemen and down here that would be possible as well so let's take a look just a standard facility let's make contact and we don't want to take any more attrition i'll leave him with the 15 days i'm not going to let that count down so we're taking a look at who's actually going to invade so we got a grenadier a specialist sharpshooter lots of squaddies holy shit can't do anything against the uh, gravely wounded ones you know i'm almost contemplating if i'm solo running this with uh, the reaper probably the wisest choice yeah probably the wisest choice so i will solo run that uh, the next uh, in the next episode basically just rushing through it um, and get rid of uh, the um, doom clock that will give us two more uh, bleeps it will stop any um, production in the facilities which is great and three more days we got a supply drop that will give us another reduction because uh, he has um, a very nice resistance order so things are okay from a stability perspective but i still want to get it further down and if we're retaking north america that would be good after the heroes welcome which is in two days we might also want to go for the infiltration of the chosen stronghold i think that's an absolutely fantastic option there is also a reduction of um, the avatar progress that could be another option but i think i want to kill the uh, chosen um, as part of the recovery giving him access to the chosen weapon which would be a huge advantage so basically having uh, having the sniper rifle uh, makes the sniper just so much better uh, and the assassin killing her would give him the katana and uh, the shotgun which is great as well uh, the warlock would be nice for the normal rifle so it's not bad i think that uh, works as well i'm not sure if he has disabled uh, the um the alien rulers but i i can't recall that i've seen either of uh, them don't want to uh, make the game more difficult for him if he doesn't want to play with the alien rulers that's totally fine no ruler here no or we know there is no ruler there no ruler here either and then no ruler okay yeah apparently he either had, must have killed them and lost all of the stuff or might not he not might have haven't um, enabled it to begin with either way it's fine um next stop we're going to um reduce the uh, doom clock get powered armor get the weapons upgraded kill the first chosen and i think once i've uh, created uh, like one plus teams for him on the colonel rank uh, maybe i'm going to play until uh, he has two full squads that way he should be fine so leveling those here up at least until kind of major uh, rank would be good psi operative so let's say if he had if all of these here would be major and above that would be one two three four five six seven eight nine plus uh, the templar which is number 10 might as well get another one from a mission reward that would be 11 so that's almost two squads which should be fine uh, in terms of surviving the rest of the campaign specifically if he has uh, the uh, one of the chosen killed anyways if you enjoyed uh, the content today feel free to drop a like and uh, leave a comment uh, down below plus if you haven't uh, subscribed yet which 50 percent of my viewers haven't uh, that's a great option to hit that subscribe button you would do me a great favor with that thank you and see you in the next mission bye bye